Hello everyone, all later repair is here again. In this video, I'm going to show an alternate method to restore and reuse activation files on iOS 14.3 and beyond on Silver 6.1. There are reports on iOS 14.3 and beyond having issues restoring activation files which result in getting stuck on the activation lock screen even after restoring activation files. This method is experimental, so this method may not work as I do not have devices with such an issue and I'm just sharing this method in attempt to help solve this issue. So let's get started. As you can see, I have activation files for this iPhone 7 which I back up on open menu to present my experimental method. Make sure you have run dependency.sh so check out my other video on that. I already run that dependency.sh so I'll move on to the next step which is to jailbreak the device. Go to finder, go to iPhone, click trust. This step is important so that Chatring can put your device in recovery mode. Allow it to activate. Once you get this activation lock screen, go to Applications, Check Rain, Go Options, Allow Untested iOS, iPadOS, TVOS version, and skip A11 BPR check. Very important. Then go back, click Start and start jailbreaking the device. Once you get all done, and the device on setup app, set up the device to put to the device on animation screen. Once on activation lock screen, close check rain and open a terminal window. Enter iProxy 2, 2, 2, 2, space 4, 4. Press enter. Once you get that, I'll be going to my notes for the subsequent command. Open my notes. Open a new terminal window. Delete the no-host file of your computer to prevent any problems establishing connection of SSH. Copy that command which is rm colon slash dot SSH slash no host. This is an important step to prevent any any errors for the SSH connection. If you get not found, it's also okay. The next step is to insert the Fair Play folder manually and set the permission. Copy the SCP dash R dash P two 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 two. Copy that command part. Make sure the space. Open your activation folder. Drag and drop the Fair Play folder. Make sure you have a space. Then copy mobile at localhost colon slash private slash var slash mobile slash library. This command is the directory in the phone for the Fair Play folder. Remove any extra characters and press enter or return. Type yes for the fingerprint. Enter the password with L5, A L P I N E. Once it's finished copying, the next step is to SSH into the phone using the mobile account. Copy and paste the SSH mobile at localhost dash P2222. Copy that. To the terminal, press enter or return, enter the password again, A L P I N E. Once get bash 3.2, this command, copy and paste chmod r 755 private var mobile library fair play. This is to set the permission for the fair play folder. Press enter or return. Once you're done, Enter exit in the command and close the terminal and also close the other terminal window as well. Very important. Click terminate. The next step is to open silver 6.1. You can now close the activation folder first. Go back to the application folder. Open silver. 
go to Checkrain iCloud Web Pass, go to iOS 14 iCloud Web Pass, click continue, click jailbreak and relay SSH, click my Wi-Fi is connected, click already jailbroken, then click jailbreak and relay SSH again, click yes, click yes, click got it. Now I will just show you the device is still on activation of screen. Click register home screen. And boom, data and privacy page. Continue setting up the device. Boom. On the home screen, go to check win app. Install Cydia. Then install CDR button, press, let it install. Open CDR. Wait for the upgrade pop-up to come out. Tap ignore, go search, type CDR, substrate. Tap on the CDR substrate, go modify, tap install, tap confirm. Let CDR substrate install, this will take a while. Tap restart springboard. Let it go to the lock screen. Once on the lock screen, go to the home screen. Then click Substrate is installed. Then click Make it fully untethered. Once get activated, insert a pin lock sim. Set up the device first. Once you have the home screen, you can click dismiss and close silver. Go done, back, quit. Close silver. And close application folder. Open terminal window again. Enter iProxy 2222 space 44. Set up the proxy connection again. Open another window. Now Insert the baseband ticket manually. Copy this part first, SCP-P 2222. Copy this. Then open edition folder again. Make sure you leave a space for the file. Drag and drop com dot apple.com center dot whatever backup please drag and drop this file make sure there's space close activation folder then copy and paste root at localhost colon and the directory to the basement ticket hit enter or return Enter the password is L5, A L P I N E. Once copy finish, restart the device. Once the device restarted, you should not get the activation lock screen. It's searching and no sim. Once you're not on the setup screen or activation lock screen, insert your SIM card to test. Insert my working SIM card. Let it search. You get no service, but I can turn on and off airplane mode to get signal. Giga, call 1633, the telco hotline to test.
You crash, I'll call again. I try calling again. Call get through. I'll just turn up the volume to show you. It works. Now, the next test is to access mobile data. I'll turn off the Wi-Fi to test. And mobile data works. Fine. After which, I will sign in to my iCloud account. I'll do this off camera. Now I let it sign into iCloud. This will take some time. I will enter the old passcode off camera. iCloud sign in works correctly. Now try opening FaceTime. Just try to let it activate. Cancel this. I will try to settle this off camera. As you can see, I managed to get FaceTime working by going to settings and turn on and off FaceTime and iMessage repeatedly till I get this to work off camera due to some private information. Now let's set our passcode and reboot the iPhone to see whether it will not go back to the setup screen or the activation lock screen. Set a passcode. Let it set. This will take some time. Since it's got stuck, I'll try to lock it. Since the passcode was set correctly. Now let's restart the device. Turn on again. Let's see whether passcode will work on restart. Enter the passcode and see still remain on Springboard, not on the setup screen or the activation lock screen. I hope you find my tutorials useful and you find it enjoyable. Please like, share and comment on my video. Subscribe to my channel and please do donate. The link to donate is in the description below. And see you in the next video.